no, no, you see what happened is I opened the top, right? And then I thought if I pushed something, that the water would come out. Yeah, yeah, but uh, you, you flushed the toilet. So then I touched something and the water was coming slowly. Yeah, but did you flush the toilet? So then I thought, okay, wait, let me try and make another plan. Did you flush the fucking toilet? I didn't flush the toilet. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. What's wrong with you, man? Huh? Can't you see how we're stuck in this stinking jail? And you must come and shit right here and steam this place up even more. What's wrong with you, man? Hey, sir, you're shitting right in front of us, lady. No shame you got it, sir. Huh? What shame he got? Hey, man. Did. What are you talking about, shame? I've never been in jail before. What am I going to tell my fro? Hey, fuck your hey, fro. Hey, hey, <laughs> Why must you be so vulgar, hey, you? Man. Why do you carry on like we are all regular jailbirds here? Check the sense off. Yeah, but he'll shit anyway. But you know what, guys? I've never been in this kind of cuck before. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about it. Hey. So, not a joke, sense off. We are in jail, sense off. I don't want to tell my mother. Hey, fuck hey, 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 hey. <laughs> What are you saying, man? Can you even picture that? <laughs> Listen, I told my mother we went to band practice. <laughs> That's stupid. We don't go to band practice. We bluff our fruit. What's wrong with Ready? you? Ready? Yeah. We don't have a fucking band. <laughs> We meet every Friday to get away from our froze, and we play one song every Friday for 15 minutes. What band is that? That song too. We can't even play the thing properly. Yeah. So you mean we're not a band? <laughs> hey, hey. Because, because you see, Henry, I bought a guitar. You bought a guitar? Yes. You bought a guitar? Yes. Can you play the guitar? No. Well, then take the guitar and shove it up your fucking ass. <laughs> Oh, another one. Oh. Hey, wait, no, because I went and bought a whole drum set. Oh, you bought a drum set? Yes. You bought a drum set? Yeah. Can you play the drum? No. Well, I think the drum set would be a bit too big, eh? Hey, it's not a joke, guys. Hey, the two of us spent our hard-earned money buying these drums. You know, make it like a joke. I can't believe you guys. Who's going to give us back our money? Yeah, and they stopped making fun of us, and we were just trying to be proactive. What's oh, wrong with you? Yeah. Proactive, eh? Two little fucking girls. <laughs> are you really mad or what? Are you really angry about that? Hey, are you mad? No. What you should be getting worked up about is where we are right now. Where do you, where do you think we are? We are. <laughs> Corrupt, man. That's all. This whole system. 
everyone ate. Hey, there's Andy, no one. There's no what? Just keep it down, man. You're going to get us in trouble. Hey, we already in fucking trouble. Hey, what other trouble are we going to get? Huh? What? These ones are rotten, man. They corrupt. You know what they say? They say that fish rots from the head. These fucking fish here are rotten so badly. They are now Gombe Jack. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, they learn from the Lani, man. You know this Lani that got fucking, uh, what the room is that? Uh, you like a cowboy in the room, man. Uh, say it, say it. Oh, say it. Tele. Oh, tele. Say it. Tele. 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 Yeah. Click, yeah. click my ass, man. <laughs> Hey, you were scoffed. I wasn't drunk. You know you. 
You like free drink, you, eh? <laughs> you was white. <laughs> yeah, and you were drinking. Hey, you are, hey, you, are ah, drunk. you know when Ravi is really drunk? When he's drunk, he spews anywhere, every time he's there. Hey, but when he's really cut, yeah. eh, finished, this so he's crawling on the floor. Eh? In the spew? A spew every ah, day. He's pushing a spew. Aye. Yeah, he's looking for chicken pieces. <laughs> hey, for what? Ah, to eat, man. Chanta. No, no, no. I pick up the chicken pieces, I put it in my pocket. I give it to Henry Bites. Fuck up. But, but, but Henry, we had a nice time of squeezes, huh? Yeah. It was my first time there. Hey, the virgin lady. <laughs> yeah, I'm moving for squeezes. Uh, but what? Henry, why they don't allow guitars there? Ancient. <laughs> you didn't see the sign at the entrance. Yeah. It says Steely. He said, enter. Yeah, below it, man. Oh. It said, all items that are prohibited. No cameras, no guns, no drugs, no outside alcohol, no foreign objects. That's why you can't take a guitar. It's a foreign object, you learn. <laughs> you know if you take the guitar and say, what they do to you? What they do, Andy? Hmm, that fucking bouncer will catch you. Catch you by your throat. He'll press it with his one hand. He'll squeeze it so tight. Your fucking ass will open. <laughs> and slowly the guitar will come out. <laughs> you take it out. You tune it like that. And you take it. You fucking smash it on your head. Now, what I want to know is, whose idea it was to bloody go to squeezes in the first place? Oh, yeah, no, my friend was telling me about the place, so I thought it'd be lucky to check it out. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. It's because of you that we bloody ended up yeah. in jail, your mother. Hey, hey, hold it, hold it, hold it. I only told you about the place. I didn't force you out to go. Oh, this fuck. Who was driving the car? Yeah. Hey, who told you to come with me? <laughs> hey, I warned you, we shouldn't have gone to squeezes. We should have had a bad practice. <laughs> See, this poor band practice. You want to buy for band practice? Yeah. You didn't have a good time at squeezes, huh? Uh, who was all walking around whole two hours with a big mic stand? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah oh, I didn't have course. a good time, man. Yeah. Like, you swallowed the whole two bottles of Viagra all at once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, I thought that was peppermint sweet. <laughs> uh, Andy, they don't allow guitars. How come they allow the mic stand? <laughs> Mustn't 
talk about the woman as an entry. Because even the men are just the same. Serious? Yeah. After marriage, too, they get fat, they let themselves go. And you know, they get so ugly in a sense. Look at Jizo's ugly there. Jizo's are more ugly than the pros.
YouTube video, then they'll charge him as their better subscription. <laughs> You mustn't, you mustn't talk about the people suffering with strabismus. What? Strabismus. What's strabismus? It's a condition where both eyes can't look in the same direction. <laughs> yeah, that's cockeye, mother. <laughs> same thing. Oh, but then you mustn't talk about the cockeyed people. Because my cousin, she's cockeyed. And she and I don't see eye to eye. <laughs>
anyway, you know what, that's it, reckon. <coughs> she reckon, I must use the FL. Condom. Oh, yeah. That's the safe thing to do. Yeah, yeah. 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 Me, I reckon, no, I don't need to use the condom. What? Because your hand can't get pregnant. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey good one, bro. Oh, <laughs> same lady. <laughs> I don't get it. Said <laughs> so, no. Yeah. You're not married, right? No. I know sometimes when you're feeling for it, there's no one around. You uh, use your hands. Hey, truth. In your times of desperation, yeah. you give yourself a hand. Take things in hand. Yeah. You shake hands with an old friend. <laughs> you slap the salami, man. Yes. You choke the chicken. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> hey, okay, now I get it. You know, heavy on you, man. <laughs> so, so, yeah? What are they talking about? Oh. <laughs> They're talking about playing with your monkey. <laughs> you got a monkey, Sinzo? See, yeah, lady. When you go home, ask your mother to explain it, right? Mother, I haven't got a monkey. <laughs> hey, idiot! You're right, your mother haven't got a monkey. Your mother haven't got a monkey, but she got a big baboon fucking fucking cheese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop making me laugh, man. My head is so excited. Hey, hey, quick. Oh, oh, oh. Don't say that in bleeding again. No, no, it's serious. Don't worry, I just bandaged his head with my anky. I hope this police can find someone soon to sort him away. Okay, at least the blood is dry. Yeah, 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 yeah. What? Far away from here. <laughs> I got an open wound. You better put your hand in the toilet now you can touch my head. That thing will turn septic, man. Hey, could yeah. The lady only trying to help you. Yeah, but yeah. You know, you, they, they wash your hand if you want to touch my head. Hey. He might help you, at least he can bandage the thing. You know, he might use his brief to bandage your head. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that means that. Hey, he won't go septic. He'll get disease, he'll get gangrene like this. <laughs> hey, gangrene is a deadly, hey, dangerous thing that is. You know, if you get gangrene in your leg, to save the rest of your body, they cut your leg out. <laughs> you know, if you get gangrene in your head, quick. <laughs> I need plastic surgery here. Yeah. Hey, 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 Kubi. I hate to inform you, right? But you need plastic surgery on the day you were born. <laughs> 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 I the guys told their wives that they'll be going for band practice, uh, when in actual fact, we were going to make a plan to go to Squeezers. Yeah. Your Honor, as we were driving past squeezers, uh, someone said that uh, they sell very nice chow there. I mean, I mean, the food. And uh, we made a U-turn, we came back, and we, we didn't really mean to go there. We were feeling hungry. Mm. Oh, Your Honor. <laughs> Me on fast, yeah, I don't ever break my fast. Yeah, you know, Your Honor, me, I'm steadfast with the fast. But that day, you know, we were going, I said, I, no, I'm, I'm not going to go to this place, this, 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 this sinful places, this den of inequity. <laughs> because I knew, Your Honor, if I went there, my fast would break and everything. And, but that day, Your Honor, I had no one, bad wind was catching me. <laughs> Some Satan came and jammed me. <laughs> and he influenced me to go, yeah. Uh, you, Your Honor, when we got there, Kubi said we must make change, like into 10 rands, so we can give the girls as tips. But uh, Henry had a better idea. He gave me a 200 and told me we can buy drinks, so we'll get more change from that. Yeah, Henry's sharp with ideas like that. <laughs> Your Worship, I noticed that uh, Henry took a camera into squeezers. 
<laughs> Your Honor, how surprised how was you think, eh? When I see I'm sitting there, and Ravi is putting on a camera from his pocket. <laughs> Your Honor, I'm very sure I saw a camera bag in Kubi's pocket. Uh, Your Honor, it was a silver Nikon camera. It was a black Sony Cybershot, Your Honor. <laughs> it was a red Hewlett Packard camera. Your Honor, then uh, Melvin wanted to know, are the girl's boobs real? I advised the Senzo very nicely. I said, you know what, Senzo, whatever you do, you mustn't, you know, uh, touch the woman and all that because, yeah, it's a hot marketplace. <laughs> Henry said, Senzo, I dare to touch the girl's boobs. <laughs> Your Honor, then I noticed uh, when Senzo went to buy drinks, uh, this one woman came up to him and said, oh, you beautiful man, you black beauty, no, you me touch me all over. <laughs> I gave Senzo the best advice, you know, I said to him, you know, you mustn't touch this woman. They are not objects, they are people too. <laughs> Henry kept forcing me. He even said he'll give me 200 rand if I touch her boobs. So then I thought I could use that money for a lap dance. Uh, 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 excuse me, excuse me, uh, excuse me, Your Honor. I want to tell you something, Your Honor, that uh, the boys were planning to go to squeezes for a long time. And uh, even when we were going to squeezes, uh, Senzo was drunk and he was driving. And then when we got to squeezes, I don't know how what happened, but Henry took a camera into squeezes and he was taking pictures. I don't know what was going on. I was still in the dark, Your Honor. I, and then suddenly I saw Ravi, Your Honor, and Ravi was like just very happy. And uh, his zip was busting. <laughs> I don't know what was going on there. And then when I looked to my right, I saw Kubi was in a fight and his head got cracked. I didn't know what was going on, Honor. You said I was telling the whole truth, nothing but the truth, and God help me, God not help me, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Something like that. I'm sorry, Yahweh. I'm in your honor. These are very serious offenses that you've been convicted of. It is aggravating that you've come to court with four different versions, all of which can never be reasonably true. From bamboo jandas to Hewlett Packard cameras, your versions sound more like a script of a comedy show. Far from the pitiful faces I see before me today, I take my mind back to the night of April 2nd, when seemingly, like adolescent boys, you lost your senses and saw the complainant as your next titillating wet dream. But for sentencing today, you have come. I am inclined in offenses like these to sentence you to handcuffs and a whipping. The presentation by your counsel during these plea proceedings was indeed an oral job well done. I've seen the briefs of the state in my chambers. Your counsel has asked me not to go down on you too hard. However, the prosecutors correctly noted that the sentence should be a stiff one. It should be one that's deep and tightly fits the offenses committed. You should know that a woman's boobs is not just up for grabs. Unless, of course, she's a willing partner. Clearly, the complainant was hot. Oh, I'm sorry, not. But balanced against this, I see you not as incorrigible criminals. You are more fallen angels who fell prey to the moment of bust. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> I mean, uh, lust. As such, you should be given a chance to rehabilitate. I see you are all part of a band and spend quite a bit of time banging around hard on drums, mouthing flutes, fingering guitars. So I think it's time to put that talent into some use. You are hereby sentenced to perform community service, to play at an upcoming function at a local old age home. Instead of servicing boobs and bums, you can now do something more constructive and entertain some deserving folks in our community. Alternatively, you could each pay a fine of 5,000 rands, or collectively, 25,000 rands. Half past seven, half past seven. Half past seven, that's in visiting hours in the hospital is over. This dogs is rubbish visitors, we never listen, never listen. Yeah, every 
Chase them, chase them, chase them, push them, push them, push them, close the door on them. But no, they still stay in the wall, still stay in the wall, eating, eating, eating. You need to bring all this curries and then come here, huh? Biryani, huh? chicken curry, mutton curry. Even the patient is saying, no, per mouth. But they bring the food, bring it, like a party they don't have here, man. Huh? How busy we are, you know, that the night, night shift nurses, night shift nurses are so busy. You know what I'm saying, Benny? Hello? Hello? Hello, Deirdre? 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 Hey, Deirdre, eat it. See your mother, your mother. Your mother, man, how many mothers you got? <laughs> Stupid. Listen here, see you, Deirdre. You're late. You're late. And that fella? Other fella, man. Eat it. Hey. hey, shut up, shut up, Deirdre, shut up. See ya. You know, make sure you, you take all the curries, everything, empty the pots and then put it all the way. You know how those the cockroaches will come everywhere, you know that. <laughs> and talking about cockroaches. Hey, your father. <laughs> Yet. Huh, sleeping. Sleeping. Are you very drunk? <laughs> then there's a the thing about you, eh? Hey. Hey, I must work so hard, work so hard, work so hard. Eat, drink, drink, and sleep. <laughs> Rubbish. Yeah, DJ, listen, DJ. Listen, DJ. Listen, DJ, shut your mouth and listen to me, man. Why I have got so stupid children, I don't know. <laughs> DJ! Listen, just do me a favor, right? See, yeah, before you go sleep and everything, right? Do some school work, DJ. I'm fed up every year, every feeling they need. <laughs> You know, Saturday is your sweet 16th birthday. Yeah, how embarrassing it is for all the guests to come. I must tell them, you're sweet 16, but you're still in great heat. <laughs> yeah. See ya. Yeah. Did they? Did they shut up, man? Did they shut them out? See ya. Yeah. Yeah, I have to go now. I have to go. Yeah, I've got a lot of work, supervisors, matron, all over here. Right, 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 right. But, but. <laughs> now I think I've got stupid people in my family, eh? Hello? Prisla! <laughs> How are you, Prisla? You know, I'm so sorry, Prisla. I was about to fall in the afternoon, right? But it got so busy here, the weekend was being inspection. Yeah, but I said, now, nice and quiet. Let me fall and we can discuss matters, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was Dumba's wife. Dumba's wife, I told you, she's like a rotter, that one. You should not have told her anything. Because now you told Tamba, hey, it's worse than telling the tabloid papers. Yeah, the news to be spread around. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Excuse me, sister. Sister, just hold on. I think I've got one idiot here. <laughs> hey, what? Uh, I just need some help, please. Hey, shut your mouth, man. Shut your mouth. You can't see a professional person in the phone. You must have some manners. What? Shut up. <laughs> Yeah, Priscilla, like I was saying, you know you, I'll never give you advice because you don't ever take my advice, yeah? You just don't behave properly. Sorry, uh, sister. Priscilla. Sister. Priscilla, just hold on. No, 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 don't go away. Don't go away. Hold on. I just sucked this little pain in my neck over here. <laughs> what? Um, I, I can't sleep, sister. I've been walking around the ward. I can't sleep. My head is sore. You can't sleep. I, that's what I you said. can't sleep. I said How the bloody are you gonna sleep if you're walking, walking up and down all the busy ones? <laughs> my head is sore. I, I need my medication. Your head is sore. Yes. Your head is sore. Of yes. course, your head is sore. That's what we came here in the hospital for, man. Yeah, but that's, that's why I need medication. You need medication. Yes. You need medication. Yes. You need a doctor, what? No. Then shut your mouth, man. You don't know what you need. <laughs> Stupid you are. Well, maybe if you, if you check my chart. Chart? Yes. Chart? Yes. What chart? That's not the right all the... Hey, that's not a very chart, man. You think this is a third grade hospital? This, this year is what we call a patient file. Oh, that's it. That's my file, yes. Well, this is a personal document. It's not for your perusal. <laughs> Hey, yeah. it's private and confidential. What you don't understand English, what? No, but 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 it's all my stuff. What's that? Patient Naidu, eh? Yes. Who oh, patient Naidu? Seems he's supposed to have been discharged today. Are you serious? <laughs> Can I see that, please? 
Yes, but uh, unfortunately you can't be discharged because Why? a doctor has not signed a discharge form. Well, then all I need is a doctor's signature. Yes, but you can't get a doctor's signature. Why? Uh, this is a hospital. There should be doctors, yeah? You idiot! It's night time now. So? Which grandfather? Your grandfather can come be a doctor and sign the form for you now. <laughs> but the doctor's on duty 24 hours. Yeah, that's right. The doctors will only come now tomorrow, half past nine, if you're lucky. <laughs> In a very good mood, I sister. <laughs> uh, okay, can can you just check for my medication there, please? What medication? Medication? Then they had all your medications. Quarter to seven, quarter past seven, half past seven. Yeah, but that was before the shift change. Ever since you came on duty, I haven't had any medication. Because he's supposed to be discharged, he just... yeah. <laughs> But I'm not discharged. Well, if he's discharged, it means you better. What are you suffering here for? My head is sore. He just sit down the side there. I, I, I think I'm going to get you some sleeping tablets so you can stop being a pain to me. So, so you admit you, you made a mistake? He shut him up. <laughs> he did. Yeah, this is the problem with hospitals, man. This is the exact problem with hospitals. All the medical profession is suffering because of, because of, you know, the one thing we can get rid of and hospitals be a fine place is very irritating patients. <laughs> I'm just uh, answer the phone. I'm helping her. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll take a message. Um, yeah, there's a doctor coming on on a supervisory visit. Okay, it's a surprise visit. <coughs> Department of Health. Oh, okay. No, no, I'll tell her tonight. No, no, no problem. I'll, I'll tell her. Okay. Uh, bye, bye. Studying nurses are getting uglier and uglier in the hospital. Hey, lucky we ran it backwards. The car thought you were going out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is that the hospital, this man? D1. Kubi, Kubi is in D1. What, 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 what? They said Kubi? D1. Hey, maternity one. No, this is G1, Ravi. G1 and uh, Hey! Hey! What Kobe is doing here? Shh! Kobe is praying. <laughs> he looks like he's dead, eh? Hey, Kobe is dead! He's just right from here. Kobe! 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 Hey, what you must scream so loud for? You idiot! This is the only time I had a chance to sleep and your belly come and wake me up. What's wrong with you? Hey, oh, why are you sleeping on the chair? Because it's such a shit hospital, that's why. Hey, you mad? What a lack of hospital, man. Hey, it's so neat. I was sleeping on the bed there. You're in this hospital, you doss on the bed, the other patients come skit all your things. <laughs> yeah. So bad. Hey, oh, wait, wait, what happened? What happened in the court case, Uh, We're oh. guilty, Kubi. What? We're guilty. Well, what's, what, what's the sentence? What's the sentence? Well, the sentence is uh, either they give us a fine or we do community service. Hey, I'm not doing community service shit and all that. We'll pay the fine. You know what? The fine. Yeah, we'll pay. We can work it out. Tell you what, the fine. 25,000. No, we do community service. <laughs> 25,000? Yeah, 25,000. Because they found us guilty. You know why? Why? This idiot confessed everything. Yeah, why? Kobe, they said I must tell the truth and nothing but the truth. I told the truth and. I just said everything I wanted to say. You idiot! Now you got us into bigger shit, man. Yeah. The lawyer told you what to say. I forgot. <laughs> so what happened with this lawyer now? This, this wonderful lawyer that I just oh, got now. Henry Organ. Yeah. He, that lawyer was so useless. Four years he did his first care bus. <laughs> <laughs> that psychology. An no, absolute waste of time. Yeah, but I mean, you should have asked him. Where the fuck is Henry? Uh, Henry is parking the car, Kobe. Huh? You're looking for a parking where no car guards are. You know how bread was, huh? <laughs> Leave that! Hey, you're talking about this show. You know, you Smith, he was in court. Who said that? He yeah. was sweating. Right, the judge was asking him questions, he's sweating. 
He put his hand in his pocket instead of taking out his hanky. He pulled out polka dot panties. Yeah, you mean? You mean that Destiny's panties is still in his pocket? Yeah. Hey, what is wrong with you, man? You're supposed to throw that panty away, man, you idiot. No, incriminating evidence. You should have just marked it exhibit A. No, wait, wait a minute. But you should have seen Ravi. Ravi came with a totally different story completely. I don't even know if he was... What do you mean? Yeah, were well, you even at the same squeezers? Hey, okay, listen, guys. We can go on and on arguing. Yeah, basically, we're in trouble. Huh? But we're going to get into bigger shit. Huh? Why if I don't get home soon, my fro is going to get very suspicious. Oh, like that. We're going to be in big trouble. Yeah, no, speaking of that, she did phone, huh? I hope you didn't answer. No, no, I picked the phone, huh? What? I saw devil written there, didn't I? <laughs> no, that's, that's my pet name for her. <laughs> oh! Uh, you shut your mouth. <laughs> Check here. I'm serious, guys. If we don't get home, she's going to start making such a big shit, I'm going to be in trouble. And I'll tell you this much. I'll take all your down with me, yeah? Hey! I'm not gonna hey, take calm down, no, man. No, 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 no. There's no need for that. No. So now what's the uh, story? Can't get you out of here. Yeah, I can't. There's, I got a discharge for it. But, but it's not signed by a doctor. It needs to be signed by a doctor. Yeah, check. If the doctor signs it, I'm free. Yeah, you have to sign this yeah. by a doctor. But there's no doctors on duty now. They've all gone home. What time do they come back? Tomorrow morning. Yes, okay, we'll wait for you for the morning. <laughs> I have to be home tonight, mother. Oh, we'll get you we'll get into trouble, man. What's wrong with you? See ya. Just suck on this. Check it. We 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 need to get this inside and sort it out. You know what? I, I think I can I come up with an idea. What? I answered the phone just now. Yeah. That, that somebody phoned. They reckon that a doctor is coming here on a surprise visit. Okay. So if a doctor is coming here, we okay. So hey, what? yeah, good idea. Yeah. We'll wait for him, he can sign this, and then you're out. No, mother, I don't know what time he's coming. The, wait. the nurse doesn't know who the doctor is. So what do you want to do? So one of us can be a doctor, huh. not me. No problem, Kubi. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they didn't ask for a brain surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, maybe, maybe one of those on this side. Oh. I'll, I'll be the doctor. No, no, I need you to sort the plan out and keep this lady under control. So it has to be sent to Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I don't even look like a doctor. No, you, no, 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 no. doctors you. look like you now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 There you go, put, put that coat on. Put that white coat on, put that stethoscope, you look like a doctor. Ubi, Sento's a doctor now. Yeah, yeah, he had an exam. Exam? Yeah. Oh, like he's a real teacher. Yeah. Senzo? Yeah? Do you want to be a doctor? Yeah, why not? There you go. Yeah, See, pass the exam. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so long. Hey, Betty. You know what? When you buy pose, you must ask your mom when you're a baby, somebody never drop you on your head. <laughs> okay? My hey, how lucky is this? I'm a doctor now. There you go. Like, like, oh, doctor. 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 Oh, like a medical doctor? Yeah, try some. So we oh, see whether you can work anything. out. Anything. Um, like, uh... Colonoscopy. What? <laughs> Colonoscopy. Colonoscopy. What is doing? He's talking. Sendo is trying to say colonoscopy. <laughs> colonoscopy. You see, a colonoscopy is when they examine the colon for insertion into the rectum. <laughs> How you know this? I had one. No. <laughs> that's how they took his brain out. No, Ravi, that's how they sorted my tonsils out. <laughs> hey, it doesn't matter. No, no, check here. Since, yeah? you do, uh, you do, do like you're doing a test on me. You're checking yeah, check his pulse, check his pulse. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Remember you're a doctor? Hey, right? this to the side. Oh, man. You have to. Be like a doctor. Yeah, two men. On. Carry on like a Be doctor. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Just a voice. Just one right. episode. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Subramani, 
I'm going to have to diagnose you with a very serious case of erectile dysfunction. <laughs> So the doctor was speaking to the nurse, and uh, he was like very cool about this. And he was saying to the nurse, Nurse, I want you to prepare the patient for a tracheal lobotomy. It doesn't sound right. Say it one more time. <coughs> he was saying, Nurse, I want you to prepare the patient for a tracheal lobotomy. We are to prepare. May I, doctor? Tracheal lobotomy. It's a very serious procedure, but we can uh, do it. Uh, doctor, uh, the sister wants to see you, doctor. Oh, yes, doctor. doctor. Oh, this is the sister. Yes, yes doctor. doctor. That I must see. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. <coughs> Welcome to the hospital, doctor. Um, good to meet you, uh, nurse. Uh, um, I'm actually here because I'm performing like random uh, checkouts at all the hospitals, and I'm uh, just making sure that everything is top notch. Yeah, you know, this hospital, everything is top. <laughs> from the Department of Health and um, while well, we're just doing random inspections and uh, I must compliment you, your hospital is really on top of standard. Uh, uh, thank you very much, Dr. Thank you, thank you very, very much. Uh, yeah, nice of you to come. We are expecting that sometime somebody like you will come because, you know what, inspection time now is a promotion uh, time. And for three uh -huh. years, I never get promoted. <laughs> really? So uh, I'm hoping this year because, you know what, it's the first time we have such a handsome doctor coming to see us. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. Uh, and then I see that uh, you have a very nice uh, accent. Oh, well, thank you. Um, you also have a very nice accent. Me? I have an accent. Oh, uh, well, anyway, uh, nurse. Uh... Uh, oh, yes, yes, the doctor. There's my name right on this badge here. Oh. Nurse Tambiran. <laughs> and he's here. Yeah. Ah, that's on Well, it's a, it's a pleasure to meet you, Nurse Tambiran. Oh, yes. And, um, you know, I hope to get a visit from the Tambiran twins myself. <laughs> oh, the Tambiran twins will be so happy to make her acquaintance. Doctor, doctor. Oh, yeah. Um, so, uh, Nurse Tambiran. Tambiran, Tambiran for short. Okay. <laughs> You know, I, I must compliment you. Yes. You are one of the few nurses that I'd like to consider firm but friendly. Oh, yes, yes, I'm a very firm and friendly nurse. I, I do everything very nice on time and everything in the hospital. I don't slack off that one bit. I don't even make any personal phone calls from the office. <laughs> that's, yes. that's excellent. Firm and friendly, that's me. Yeah. You know, um, I was kind of hoping that the Tambiran twins are also firm and friendly. <laughs> Oh, yes, that. Uh, you see, uh, Tambiran <coughs> twins might not be so firm anymore, <laughs> but what they, they lack in firmness, they certainly make up with friendliness. Nurse <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tambiran, you are a riot. Oh, you are a riot too, Doctor. <laughs> Lucky you're the 1949 riot. <laughs> Doctor? Uh, we just need some... Oh, yes, uh, you know Nurse Tambiran. Yes, when... uh, you seem to be a ridiculous... I, 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 that I am, that I am. Uh, you know, when I saw you for the first time, yes. something went through my mind. Oh, really? Yes, and um, I hope that uh, you don't take it in the wrong light. I you know, Doctor, that. I have to tell you, when I saw you, something also went through my mind. Really? It's like a body of its film. I think it's a kush kush what I And, um, you know, I hope you don't take this in the wrong light. Oh, no. You know, uh, there's something I've got to ask you. Oh, you must ask. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope you can answer me truthfully. I'll answer, I'll answer. Nurse Tambiran. Yes, Doctor. Could you tell me yes, doctor. How, how I could get this patient discharged? Oh. Okay, that's simple. There's not a problem. The huh? discharge form is right here. <laughs> Shut him up. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you she'd be forced. Hey. So you, all you have to do, Doctor, is you sign here, yeah. then I'll stamp it, uh -huh. and then uh, he can go. That's no. it. That's it. Oh. Hey, don't blame. I mean, really. <laughs> I 
Alright, that's great. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll sign this. And what you can do for me, yes, you can be a snookum. Oh, I can be a snookum. You can be my honey bunny. Oh, honey bunny, I can be. Oh, yes. And you can go upstairs and fetch his medication while his we're medication. waiting. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh doctor, can you take one small please? <laughs> Okay, listen, listen. I'll tell you what. You wait for it. Okay, stamp right. It. So stamp it, you sign, you sort it out. We also will find, I meant to get the drip off. Right. Oh, perfect. We'll go now. We, we'll get the cab. We'll come around the front. We'll meet you. Yeah, keep the engine running because I'm not going to waste any time. I'm just going to jump yeah, in and keep going. Yeah, yeah, you don't waste that. Yeah, <laughs> you you're normally finish in three minutes. Sorry. <laughs> that's it, it's Hey, hey even don't pull so tight, mother. <laughs> Hey, yeah. hey, something is oh, showing. Yeah, shut your mouth and walk. <laughs> I'll leave this here and just tell the nurse I'm gone, okay? All right, no problem. must keep the engine running. <laughs> yeah, the engine of the car, you moron. <laughs> Imagine, bring it 
25 grand. 25 Imagine grand. 25 grand, yeah, now. Hey, like that. Say, that's it's a lot of money. Good. Yeah. Imagine 25 grand, say. You know what it look like? Huh? Yeah, yeah, like money, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what I'm saying is, you know what we can do with that 25 grand? Let's see. Yeah. What we can do? Oh, hey, huh? hey. Hey. It's a lot of money. We can go for a whole weekend now. Yeah. Yeah. We can take our own squeezes and go. <laughs> <laughs> Each of us will have our own, our own lap dancer. Yeah. 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 Hey. Plus three, what a lucky chow we can have. Yeah. We have like a banquet. <laughs> hey, we can go to the Chatlitz. <laughs> what? Yeah. Me too. Why can't you, Ravi? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
just that they always wanted to be close yeah, to you. Yeah, radio. Yeah. You know, Theater yeah. of the mind. Yeah. Yeah. You had to think about what's happening, mm. see it in your head. We just oh. listen to the story. Yeah. 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 Hey, but you know what? Now as a lady, right? Hey, I was fascinated by these dramas. I used to think they're small people in the speakers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, funny enough, I thought the same thing when I was a lady. What are you fucking laughing at me for? <laughs> Hey, I'm checking with those are men who said yeah. How How small people going to live in the speakers? What are they going to eat? Right, they're small people, they eat small food. <laughs> hey, uh, why? Uh, no. There was nobody in the speakers. Oh. Yeah. Hey, what about the other programs you said? Hey. After school, we used to get that money. Hey, yeah, uh, but there's the, a... The, 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 the jungle. Jet jungle. Jet jungle. Yeah. 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 jungle also was strong. It yeah. might save the world and yeah. all that. Exactly. Hey, remember he had this black panther. Yes. <laughs> and then that panther yeah. used to growl and always understood what it said. Yeah. 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 I fuck Scooby Doo. <laughs> Scooby Doo is a drawing. This was a real panther, yeah. you see. Yeah. Hey, it's been luck. Okay. And what is the other program? Hey, the comedy is to have a father, dear father. Men from the ministry. Yeah, the oh, yeah. Tracy Dark. The mind of Tracy. Yeah, yeah. Like the mind of Tracy. Yeah, the luck of programs. Hey, yeah, yeah, oh, hey the drama was good. Yeah. They used to also have a comedy, you know. Yeah. yeah. No, that was on that uh, Saturday or Sunday. Mr. Beats. What bigs, man? They never had Indian comedians on TV, on radio. Yeah. They oh, just like today. Yeah. On East Coast radio, they don't have Indian comedians. Yeah. yeah. We're not allowed. What's his name? What's his name? His name was uh, Chesley. Put Friedman. Put Friedman. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hey, he was a top comedian. Yeah. 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 He's a. I was in his tune. He used to like imitate the Charles. Hey, Fellerman, Fellerman, come here, you, come here, you, come here, you. But she's all the children. Hey, push that girl. Look at that girl. Push that. Push that. Come on, jump. Push that. Never did it. Now when I think about it, they were only picking on Charles, right? Yeah, yeah. And right, we used yeah. to laugh. Yeah. 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 Even in this day and age, those are being the same thing. That's okay. Michael Naker. Uh, He's a charo. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Suck your thumb or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we had some good programs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we never had Radio Lotus and all that. Eh? How come? No, it wasn't allowed. <laughs> yeah. oh, they have Saturday and Sunday, one hour each for Indians. Hey, it's give us at least a one hour. Yeah, what is the hey, program was called? Hey, Saturday morning, you should have Saturday mirror. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Sunday, you have Sunday broadcast. Yeah. You know the main who used to announce for the program there? Yeah. It was a stop for. Jagadish and Deva. Yeah, hey. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
on behalf of the tremendous team for all the years have contributed to and made Springbok Radio. I say to you, wherever you may be listening, a most sincere thank you for your loyalty and your support. The station, which on the 1st of May 1950 said, Good morning, South Africa. This is Springbok Radio. Now says, Good night, South Africa. This was Springbok Radio. Hey, mother! Hey, Chit, what are you crying for? Hey, you can cry just there, you know? You know you should hire your services for funerals. <laughs> you need to be like the town crier. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you couldn't see him colored at 
because you know they got the Coon Carnival these days. Hey, 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 yeah, you don't have the same. Yeah, I don't have the same ring, you yeah, know. Right. Yeah, I don't know what this whole country. Everybody, you know, they have to be like tight assed about this whole thing. But <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a cool carnival. They knew it. Everybody knows it. Even those who knew they're cool carnivals. Uh, you kidding? So I just don't see yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, yeah? yeah. We did all this thing. Look how lucky we sounded. Yeah. We can take this song now, yeah. and we can take it and do it for our community service at Old Age Home. Hey. Huh? Well, it sounds like an idea because I mean, the old people, what they'll know. Yeah. Hey, don't talk shit, man. You do these songs, yeah. yeah. The fucking old ones have a stroke and die. <laughs> that would be crazy, man. They'll be so grateful if you come and perform. No, no, you can't no. do anything, man. Hey, no, no, you can't do anything. You can't bluff the bunny. Seriously. You know what? Those old, they used, they were musos as well. I'm telling you. Uh, uh, sure. they, they, they didn't use synthesizer, laptops, and all that. No, no, no. Uh, they played real instruments. They know their stuff. You can't love them. Yeah, because they do so they, they, they culture those except. Ah, yeah, yeah, they used to play instruments, not they are. Bullies. Yeah, but they used to have jaws and stuff. Ah, ah. ah. hey, once the goat balls was frying. <laughs> Yeah. 
Hey, what am I open or open? <laughs> e, e, open. Yeah, like that, yeah. C, D. Yeah, you learn to do D, yeah. D, D, D. Right, sure. But D, four right, okay. You ready? Oh, yeah, yeah. You ready, ready? Right, ready. Yeah, ready. One, two, three. Oh. Judging me, yeah. <laughs> you are sitting there and saying, check this chutia, what a skirko he is. Yeah? I'll tell you all now, in public, I'm not scared of my fro. I'm not afraid to admit, I'm not scared of my fro. I'm shit scared. <laughs> and I can guarantee you, 90% of the men here are in the same boat as me. You're also shit scared. <laughs> so don't judge me. Let, let's see how brave you are, right? By a show of hands or clapping. How many men here? will go home and tell their froze that the, the secretary or receptionist at Graf is very beautiful. <laughs> Clap. Yeah. Man, you fucking came alone, mother. Yeah. Big shot now. Yeah. Soon as they ask, how does secretary look? It's all right. <laughs> That's all you say. How many of you will go home after having lunch with a female colleague and tell your wife, no, I had lunch with a female colleague. How many? <laughs> Say mother again. <laughs> Sit on your fucking hand, mother. I'm talking to all the came with their froze here. <laughs> you must be Melvin's father. <laughs> I'll try again, you don't clap, right? How many of you here? Are you starting to clap for me? <laughs> How many of you will buy to a strip joint, have a good time, and come back and tell your fro you got turned on? <laughs> Took long for that one to come, right? <laughs> Nobody. You know why? Because men in general who are married, they are more scrick of their froze than for jail. <laughs> We'd rather buy to jail than to now froze anything. What's the worst thing that can happen in jail? You must just watch out if you're bending for the soap, that's all. <laughs> if your fro finds out, you're fucked for life. <laughs> they never forget. Never. And you know when the shit starts? You know when all the shit starts? When we're courting our froze. Where are we all the time? Like every weekend, every afternoon, every free time we have, every holiday, we're sitting by our house. And how fun the fucks us up that time? <laughs> That mother will make you mow the lawn, wash his car, paint the 
whole fucking house. You just fuck all by your house. But you'll find it. Now we got ladies, they're doing the same thing as mothers. Now my daughter, her boyfriend coming home, I've finished that bastard. Boyfriend. My guy used to be watched every six months. Now fucking three times a week. I get that thing polished and shiny. He washes everything. He paints the skirting. It's too high for me to the double story. I fucking make him go out. <laughs> paints all that thing. Only thing the ladies nowadays are fucking dress funny, exactly. Why your pants must hang right over here? He come home, his pants is hanging right here. His brief and on my show. But he's still wearing a belt. <laughs> You know where you learn to dress from? You know homeless people. The homeless people dress like that. And you know who else I blame? I blame the men's magazines. You know they have these surveys. And the first thing they say in every survey is you must always speak the truth in a relationship. Bullshit. You speak the truth to your wife, you're fucking finished for your whole life. I'll give you examples. Now imagine you're shopping for like four or five hours. You're walking around, shopping, shopping, shopping. Eventually she comes out with one dress and you're thinking, what a shit dress that is. And she says to you now after five hours, you like this dress, what do you say, mother? <laughs> you look more fucked up than me. That's your fro, huh? Can't hide your face here, ma. Huh? Exactly, you say, no, the dress is nice in your head. You're thinking, shit dress. You say it's nice, but why? Because you don't want to go shopping for another two hours, right? Right. You know, sometimes when they buy inside the salon, they spend two hours in the salon sorting their face out, sorting things out. They come out looking worse than when they find in. And they say, how I look? What you say? Yeah, your mother. You say, no, you look lovely. I'll go another fucking 500 rand is gone. So you lie. You have to lie. You also didn't come with your fro here. Yeah? <laughs> you have to lie. It's like, you know, sometimes you're walking in the pavilion or something. You check one or walking with a woman, ugly dress, eh? Hey, all finished, makeup and all, you know you fucking lied to her. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel sorry, it's just short rah, well done. <laughs> and then, guys. Yeah, we, we like going to strip club. No, not me, I went to the brass. But it's nice to go to the strip club. You go in there, you see this beautiful woman. They're stripping. It's like, it's like a, how, like a Ferrari. You compare them to a Ferrari. Slick lines, beautiful bodies, lucky engines. They're going and they're stripping. And you go home and your fro is there with the flannel pajamas. <laughs> and you say, imagine if she starts stripping. In a flannel pajama, you're just coming from seeing a Ferrari, just like seeing a Susan Tenton Bucky. <laughs> Thank you, you've been wonderful, guys. I'll see you just now. Bye bye.
Did that good that Betty Pico get rotten? <laughs> Oh, I will. 
But she was holding my hand so tight I couldn't take it away. Take your watch yesterday? Hey, but you know, talking about that, hey, you remember that one song by Doobie Brothers? Hey, that rock Who's number. Who's that? Doobie, Doobie. Doobie Brothers, yeah, that was... He, he told you to say Doobie. I said Doobie. Press <laughs> under the other Doobie. No, check it This song, and a special guitar, right? Yeah. yeah. You'll, know, you'll know this one. Right? It was song, something about a train. But long dream running. That's it. Ah. Hey, like I know. <laughs> Let's just get on with it. Come on, right, here you go. One, two, three.
I know we enjoyed that, but Henry, I've got a request from a lady in the audience. The one the engine number. No, not the one I dance with. The one the engine number, you must sing it. That's the only way. Number. And because it came from uh, Lali, we sing Lal Marie. Huh? Lal Marie. Hey, why are you taking your clothes and all? Wait, wait, I'll get the clothes. Right, Sid, you play the tabla? Right, ready? Hey, Sidzo, you bust this tabla here. Yeah, the tabla's not working. The tabla's not working. Hey, shut your mouth. You ready? Hey, you and Mike, man. I almost oh, see you and Mike. What's wrong with you? You want my mic, Henry? Yeah, I want your yeah. mic, Henry. How are you? Hey, your mother. Your mother, your mother is watching. No, I'm talking about this mic. <laughs> now you tell me a bastard. <laughs> right, ready? Hello. Ah. Your voice is not with the mic. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Ravi! Wait, you must look lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey, guys. Hey, we got to show your mother is here now. Hey, Ravi! Yeah. Gia, you want to call them, man? Oh, oh, oh. 